What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you are awesome, and welcome to episode 2 of Paragon Storytime. This is stories from you about Paragon or its many successors. If you have a story to share, please fill out the form below. Today we have a story about good job spam, getting perma banned, and melting an ulting Kolari. All of these stories are from OG Paragon. Quick note, I appreciate the clips you guys send in and I can show those along with the story, but if you you still need to type out the story if you want it to be in this particular show. First up is a tale about a duo butting heads from a friend of Aralorn Wolf. Good job, good job, good job! The day started like always, with an overextension leading to a death, phases, quickly followed by good job, good job, good job from Yin. A few minutes go by and Yin is killed, and Phase says, good job, good job, good job to Yin. The good job, good job, good job happened constantly for the next 10 minutes. Whenever there was a mistake, a perceived slight, a sneeze, it mattered not why, just constant good jobs flooded chat. Then there was silence. This silence lasted for over two minutes. It started when the mid lane was killed and they rotated over to protect the mid T1. Lord Greystone saw them, he lunged after the ladies, and Yin whipped him into a pile of flayed flesh. His defeat was just the beginning of the rampage to follow. Both teams collapsed into mid lane, creating a 4v4 which Yin and FaZe easily won, picking up 4 more kills slash assists. They moved on and destroyed the T1. With full health and mana, they decided to push the lane, and were intercepted by Lord Greystone and the jungler. Yin picked up a double kill, and now they were in front of the T2, protected by the support and caster. The two were undaunted and attacked, killing the support and forcing the caster to back. Just before destroying the T2, the carry and jungler arrived. FaZe protected Yin and took tower aggression. With the destruction of the tower, Yin killed the jungler and carry, leaving FaZe with almost no health. However, Hyperflux would be off cooldown in several seconds, so they moved on to the inhibitor. The inhibitor was down to half health. The minions were about to die when Lord Greystone makes his appearance for the final time along with the support and caster. FaZe did all she could to remain alive as they focused on her. FaZe did her job to the best of her ability, died moments after the inhibitor. Sadly, the silence was broken. Wild teammates appeared and helped Yin kill Lord Greystone, the carry, then the support. A triple kill! The enemy core was destroyed before anyone could respawn. The blessed silence was broken by FaZe yelling, good job, at everyone. So the game ended the way it started, with Yin and FaZe yelling good job, good job, good job at each other. So much animosity despite FaZe getting over 10 assists and Yin getting over 12 kills in those last 150 to 180 seconds of the match. Yet if they didn't work together, the game would have been lost. But that was Paragon for you. I remember when Paragon shut down and I tried to replace it with dumbass smite. I very quickly realized that you rock was their version of good job. Next up is a short little story about getting perma banned from Paragon from Josh. I had 12,000 hours in Paragon. It was the game I played. Well, after so many hours, I turned into a toxic player. I got so bad I got banned for three days, then a month, and then perma banned. Well, I tried to get my account back and a full refund of the money I spent, they denied me. When Paragon shut down, I requested a refund again, just hoping that maybe I'll get my money. I got a full refund on a perma banned account. I am trying my best to be a better player and not get toxic with Overprime and Predecessor. Well, I appreciate the honesty, and it is kind of hilarious that you got your money in the end. Finally, we have a tale of a greeting party for an ulting Kalari from Sir Charles. At syr.charles, Sir Charles at Instagram if you want to check him out. We have to start by painting the picture first so you understand where we're at. It's pre version 42 and me and two buddies are playing a late night match together. I chose Bellica support and my friends go Eggy mid and Severog jungle. Keep in mind that this is before the huge monolith update so Iggy and Scorch still has the OG turrets with the oil spill kit. Not too sure what the enemy team composition was but I know for a fact that they had a Kalari because that's who this story is about. The enemy Kalari had been bullying our mid practically all game and it for sure would have been a loss had we not changed our strategy throughout the game. We decided to treat Iggy as a guarded unit of sorts. If I wasn't in his lane, jungle would rotate. 
If Sev needed the jungle, I rotated mid. It was literally that bad of a harassment game for our mid. Now that the foundation has been established, let's give you the geographical setting of where the climax of this story takes place. We are in the offlane, right between the tier 1 and tier 2 towers. Remember that sort of hill area right where that isolated jungle camp was located? That's where we are. Iggy is yet again low on health and we are running into the late game and it would probably be a loss if he dies again. Death timers were too ridiculous for the speed of Paragon at this point in time, and even if Iggy was arguably the worst mid laner in the game at the time, he could definitely clear his waves and his tower defense was still solid with the turret setups. All that to say, we needed him to win. Me and Sevrog are escorting him until we feel it's safe enough for him to recall. We had no idea where the enemy Clary is and, as previously stated, she's been bullying him all game, so we just wanted to make sure he gets back safe. Iggy drops two turrets before starting the backing process just to be safe. Me and Sevrog stay in place. I would say the recall animation takes about 7 seconds, so somewhere between like the 3 to 4 second mark, Kalari ults. And you guessed it, she went straight for Iggy. I honestly don't even think she noticed that me and Sev were standing right beside him. She just saw our Iggy's username and pressed confirm. Without speaking, once we see the dagger turn red, Sevrog drops a subjugate, Iggy drops oil spill, and I void bomb all simultaneously. The next thing we see is that little orange flash animation that happens when someone dies. We physically did not see the Kalari, she just evaporated once her ult finished. I personally have never seen someone melt or explode in that manner ever before in my mobile life. I think we were all too shocked to speak because we just stood there for about 3 seconds without doing anything. After that match, we definitely laughed about it, and it is still one of my favorite moments from the game, but I just can't even begin to fathom what that Kalari must have thought in that moment. Ah, the joys of stuffing an ult in Kalari. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time I uppercutted that bitch out of an ult with crunch, well, I'd have about 10 cents, but both times were memorable and rewarding, you know? That's it for this episode of Paragon Storytime. I personally really enjoy this series and would love to keep it going, but that means I need your help. Keep these stories rolling in with the form provided below. Like the video if you enjoyed it, sub for more third-person MOBA content. But for now, goodbye, food. Mangoos! Special shout-out to channel members Foolish Blood Hunter, Jelly Knees, Meow, Mix for Men, Stunt, Ferenth, and Raven.